Good afternoon, everyone. Quick question, start this off. It's always fun to be the first person to get this thing going, but I got a quiz for you. How many of you have ever walked into a building or into a home and not been able to be on your cell phone and frustrated because of it? Raise your hands. Okay, those of you who didn't raise your hand, that means you're either lying or you don't own a cell phone because we know this problem exists. It is real, it exists every day all around the world. It's not a problem of bad outside signal as much as it is building construction. And we're gonna talk about those for a few minutes. So as she mentioned, my name is Scott Lucas, Vice President of, of Con Commercial Cells. And we have a booth here today and we talk about our cell solution. It's cellular amplification. We do not create signal. We take outside signal and make a building transparent and put it inside of the space. 40 years ago, Jim Wilson, who's a pioneer and, and a legend in the RF space, created many, many different things. One of those was radios, and he sold them to a small company you might have heard of before, Motorola, and um, decided to, to progress and develop new and new, um, better products. And one day, his wife looked at him and said, I can't use my cell phone in the house. You are a smart enough guy, solve this problem. And that's how the division of cellular, cellular amplification was started at Wilson Electronics. In 2014, the FCC approved these boosters to be used in, com in commercial spaces and consumers and because of the consumer scenario in which it's being used. So now we're taking these products and we're putting them inside of buildings. So Wilson Electronics, it's based in St. George, Utah. That's where we do our assembly and our manufacturing of our products and we put them all together and we ship them out, um, all around the world. But our primary focus is here in the U.S. that we're talking about today. The thing that we need to think about when it comes to cellular amplification is the problem. Again, as I mentioned, it's the building. It is the construction materials. The, the more environmental friendly we get, the more energy efficient we become, all of these things weaken the signal. So the good news is our solution becomes more of a need as we progress and we move forward um, into the future with a lot of new technologies that are coming out. We're real excited about those. So the Pro 1100, which is actually up for one of the uh, CD, or CD awards, we're real excited about that, and you should come by our booth. We're at 519, you'll learn plenty about it. So the way the solution works, the Pro 1100 has an outside donor antenna. It's on top of the roof of a building or on top of a home. It's just like a satellite installation. Coax cable comes into the facility. You have an amplifier on the inside to max, and then you have an antenna on the inside that takes the outside signal and disperses it across the building. Whether it's a small residence or a large residence or a million square feet, we can install it because our system is modular and works with every carrier. We are carrier agnostic. We don't care about any of the, which carrier you want to amplify inside your space. The last thing I want to talk about is in booth 519, we're doing a, a promo right now where you can come over and for every one of our Wilson Pro amplifiers that are sold at this event, you will be able to get a free upgrade to a low profile antenna. Appreciate all of your time. Look forward to seeing you at the booth. Thank you, Scott. Anyone have any questions for Scott? Wilson Electronics? I've got Wilson Pro socks for someone who has a question. <laughs> yes, sir. Do you have to choose, have to choose uh, the carrier that you're trying to amplify, or does it just amplify any of them? All of them. Yep. Wor works with LTE? Yes, sir. <laughs> and the price? The price on the 1100 is 1600 um, MSRP. Any other questions? Questions? <laughs> yeah, the, the range. I'm sorry? Range. The 1100 is going to go between up to 25,000 square feet. And then we have products that will do 100,000 square feet. So it just depends on the scenario and the situation. All right, one more question. We good? We, we, one more question? Yep. 5G is an awesome question, and I'm excited about it because we're prepared to support it. The future of 5G requires 4G LTE to be the backbone as it grows and progresses, and all of our solutions are there to maximize that potential so that as it grows and it develops over time, and as the FCC finalizes 5G um, regulations for our space, we're ready to launch our products that are in development. Yes. Our, uh, the answer to the question specifically, all of our solutions will continue to amplify cellular signal in a 5G world. All right. All right. Thank you all very much. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.